forward on this computer. All right, hey guys, so welcome to our new coach call. Thank you to those that made it on live. If you are watching the recording, please write down any questions that you have during the call. Um, that way you can ask your offline after the call, um, whomever your offline may be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a share screen, guys, because I do have slides. Um, we're gonna be bouncing back and forth just a little bit. Um, let me get to my slides. Utilize the chat bar if you guys need to. Um, that way, how do I get into this? I was not prepared. Here we go. Um, that way, if you have any questions while we're doing this, you guys are able to ask. Can you guys see this? Is everything up good? Crystal, you're on my good. I see one person when I'm on a call. Crystal, you are the lucky person that you guys see on this call. All right, guys, this is your getting started right call. Um, we are going to be doing these every two weeks. I used to do these calls individually with every new coach takes a lot of time. So I like to do them collectively now to go over all of the information. And then that way on your first one-on-one -on -one call with um, me, I can then answer any questions that you have, because a lot of this is what we would already go over. Um, so your coach, congratulations. Super excited to hear. Oh, and if you don't know who I am, Let's back up for a hot second because you may I may not be all of your coaches. Um, my name is Ashley. I am the person that created, created um, Team Forward Fit formerly known as Team Fire to Get Fit, if you ever hear that team name. We rebranded our team um, a year ago, maybe? Maybe the end of 2016, I don't remember. Um, I have been a coach for six years. It'll be actually six years on January 18th, so it's coming up. We call it our coach anniversary. Six years. That's a long freaking time. I haven't even been married to my husband for six years. Like... That's a longer commitment than my marriage. Um, when I started off on this business, I said no for an entire year. No doesn't mean no, y'all. It just means not right now. Um, literally an entire year. I said, no, I'm not fit enough. I'm not at my goal weight. I don't have time. I'm too busy. Literally probably all the obstacles and excuses that you guys hear when you're inviting people. Those are my reasonings. Um, my husband, boyfriend at the time, found TurboFire. I was overweight. I was miserable. I was depressed. I was probably not a fun person to be around, if we're being honest. And I was a waitress, so it really wasn't like a very good environment to like be in and like trying to lose weight. Um, bought TurboFire. It sat on my shelf forever. Um, and it was January. And I remember the date. It was January 4th. That was the day that I started my journey. January 4th, 2012, I went all in. It was like something clicked in my head that day that I like decided like I was ready. And I think everybody has that turning point. Completed Turbo Fire. I lost 40 pounds. I went from a size 18 to a size 10, from an extra large to a medium. I felt amazing. Meanwhile, still wasn't a coach. My coach kept nagging me. She's like, just become a coach. I was like, fine, fine, fine. So I became a coach. And when I do something, I do something. I don't half-ass it. I go all in. That's just the kind of person that I am. Um, so I hit the ground running and my business moved very quickly, um, very at a very fast pace. And I will state this and I, you'll hear me talk about this anytime I introduce myself. When I started this business, so if you tell me I'm too busy, BS. I'll try to filter myself, guys, because I am a cursor and I know not everybody is. Um, so when I started this business, I was going to school full time. I was in my senior year of getting my bachelor's degree. I have a bachelor's degree in social work. It's called human services. Nobody knows what that is, so we call it social work. Um, so I was taking six classes. I was planning a wedding. I was getting married in May. I was commuting two hours, five days a week, working 40 plus hours a week as a waitress, and I would work the 4 p.m. shift till the 2 a.m. and get home about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I was also doing a 20-hour internship. So when I say I did not have time to work this business, I did not have time to work this business. But the beauty of this business is you work the business around your time. So I found pockets to work the business. Fast forward, we moved, my business dropped, and I decided in 2014, it was in February, I was going to go all in with my business. Again, when I do something, I do it. And I did. I went all in with my business. I quit my job. Eight months later, I became a retail manager because I couldn't find a line of work that I wanted to do with my degree. I had replaced my beach body income completely with um, an overpassed it. Fast forward to 2017, my husband retired from corporate America. He was an accountant for a Fortune 500 company. Is that what it was called? Yeah, close enough. If you ever got a paycheck in your life, you probably got it from his company. Hated his job. We decided to sell our house, moved to Ohio, and the rest is history. Here I am. 
Um, our team was ranked in the top 300 last year out of 300,000 teams. That's pretty awesome. Um, I've been in this business, like I said, six years. I've done some amazing things. Enough about me. Okay. I tell you all that because I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you're like, well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I do. Okay. I do. I've been in this business for six years. So what I say, please take it and trust it. Okay. So your main job as a coach is to focus on you. It starts with you guys. If we are not being proof of the product, we are being hypocritical people. There are other companies out there, not gonna say names, I am not a shamer. Y'all probably know who I'm talking about. They're like, buy this, buy this, buy that. You never see transformation photos from them. You never see them using the products. You never see them using the products, sharing on social media. Your job is to focus on you and it starts with you. Why have I grown as a coach? I am consistent as F when it comes to my workouts and when it comes to my mom crack and energize, sorry. When it comes, I almost said nutrition, but that's a bunch of bull crap. You guys know I'm not consistent when it comes to my nutrition, but I'm getting better. But you have to focus on you. So number one, you have to get to know the products. I'm not saying you need to know every single product because there's a decent amount of them. I want you to choose five. And you're going to learn about those five. Included in those five, you should probably know about BOD because those are the workouts, right? You should know about Shakeology. At least know the flavors that we have. Side note, does anybody know all the flavors that we have? The first person to type it in the chat box correctly, I'll send you a little prize. Third, I would probably know about the performance line. That would include your Energize and your Recover. The other ones you can pick. Maybe you're gonna know about Hydrate. Maybe you're gonna know about Shakeology Boost. Maybe you're gonna know about the 2B Mindset. Maybe you're gonna know about the container system. Know at least about five of our products and get to know them. Get to know and love the products. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. Everybody knows I am obsessed with Energize. Somebody asked me today, they're like, is it okay to have Energize like if I'm not working out? I'm like, ha, do you know me? Like I always have it and I'm not working out. Like I love my Energize. I love what it does. I love the way that it makes me feel. Man, that sounds really bad. It sounds like somebody is addicted to something bad for them. But I love the products, so I share about them. Know and love the products and then tell people about the products. That is the easiest part about coaching. Some of you are thinking really, really hard on the flavors of Shakeology and I'm super proud of you. Um, that is the easiest part about coaching is sharing. Share about the products and share about the lifestyle. That's the thing with Beachbody. You're a coach, but you're also sharing about the products and you're sharing about the lifestyle. Maybe for you, the lifestyle is having a bunch of women surrounding you and having that support and having that accountability. Maybe it's about sharing the products and how they've changed your life. And that could simply just be sharing your workouts daily on Insta Story, sharing how you're making your Shakeology or how you're making your Energize. Without fail, every single morning, I have some sort of karaoke, if that's what you can call it, of me making my Energize. And I don't think people like it, but if I don't do it, you best believe I get called out. So share about it. Number four, help people change their lives with the products. Whoever's on this call, if you're my coach, you probably joined me because you've seen me share about the products. You've seen me share about how they've changed my life in one way, shape, or another. You didn't join me because I'm a size zero because I am not a size zero. You didn't join me because I weigh 120 pounds because I definitely do not weigh 120 pounds. You should probably join me because I've shared the products. I've shared the lifestyle. I've shared how they've changed for me. So you're going to do the same and you're going to start helping people. And then number five, you're going to tell those people that they can help other people. Do you see this domino effect, guys? So your main job is to focus on you as a coach. Don't get wrapped up in all of the fancy stuff. Focus on you and do other things in the process, which we will talk about. Let's see if somebody got it right because somebody was studying hard. And if I find out one of you guys Googled, the, where's my chat? All right, I'll have to look at the chat after, but I will come back to it. All right, guys, use your resources. Oh, there are so many resources available to you guys. And yeah, I'm going to be a person like when I was in high school and I trekked five miles up the mountain without shoes in the snow. That's what I'm going to sound like when I say this. There was no resources when I became a coach. Okay. The only resources we has with it has had were the national wake up calls and the coach online office, which was junk back in the day. And I can say back in the day because six years is kind of back in the day. Um, there was no new coach training university. There was no new coach work book thing, whatever you want to call this. I Googled and YouTube the hell 
out of what I wanted to know. And that's how I become successful. And I'm trying to get out of that mind frame that not everybody's going to be like me and not going to go and just learn it all. That's why we have the new coach workbook. That's why we have the new coach training. That's why we have the team page. There are all of these resources available at your fingertips, but you have to utilize them. I don't know who said it. I'm probably going to say it wrong, but you have to be resourceful with the resources that you have. Be resourceful with the resources that you have. That is why you guys will always hear me, hear me harp. Did you check this out? If you message me and you ask me, well, how do I get a success club? I'm going to love you, but be like, I'm sorry. I'm not answering that question. Not because I don't want to, because I need to empower you to go learn the answer so you can help your new coaches but utilize the resources that you have. This is where we're gonna jump around. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the resources that you do have. I'm also gonna to check to see if they got this right. Chocolate vegan, strawberry vegan, vanilla vegan, greenberry cafe latte, chocolate. Oh, you were so close, Crystal. You were the closest. Um, so there is chocolate, there's vanilla, there's strawberry, there's greenberry, and there's cafe latte. And then in vegan, there's strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, and cafe latte. So there is, wait, no, there's not a vegan cafe latte. Crystal, you were correct. I was wrong. My husband's laughing at me. You were correct. So Crystal, I'll send you a little something, something. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go back and show you guys some of the resources that we have available for you guys. I just need to move some of this stuff. So this is, can you guys see this page right here? Does this pop up? It's the Team Beach Body site, right, guys? It's not the slides. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure. So to get into your Coach Eileen office, guys, you're gonna go to teambeachbody.com. You're gonna sign in. And you're gonna click Coach um, Coach Office, and then it's gonna do this tab. It's gonna make you re-sign back in for some silly reason. I don't know why. It just does. Um, and this is gonna bring you to your landing page of your Coach Online office. We got a refresh, reface lift a couple um, months ago, probably about a year ago, and it's so much better now than it used to be. So this is the main page of your Coach Online office. This is where you'll find out if you have success club points, what your current rank is, um, your coach ID number, all of that fun stuff. Um, there's some amazing things in here, how to grow my business. There's challenge group tools for when you want to run your own account accountability group, which is the same thing as um, a virtual gym. If you want to send an email to people, setting up your website. Again, most of this is in your new coach welcome packet. Um, how to go over share a cart, please learn about share a cart. Monitoring your business, guys. It's very important that you, in the beginning, you're not going to have a lot of action in your coach online office, and that's totally okay. Um, but I still want you to get familiar with it. You can find your orders. You can find your customers. You can do a sponsorship drill down. That's when you start to have coaches underneath you seeing the volume um, down here. I'm going to answer these questions now because I'm sure questions will arise at some point in time about them. The first one's going to be like, oh, it shows that I have a new coach in my organization. I signed up a coach. No, you didn't. Somebody that is on the same exact leg signed up a coach that's on your leg. Um, so for example, say Crystal's on my right leg, I signed up Madison, put Madison on the right leg, they're now under the same organization. A lot of this will make more sense when you become Emerald um, and you start ranking volume. You can look at volume, which I did do a video about it a couple weeks ago, find out all about the volume. If you wanna know about Success Club, like have I qualified for Success Club yet? This will tell you if you've qualified for Success Club. It will tell you where your Success Club points have come from. You can see your earnings. So definitely check out the um, page. There are these trainings, getting started, business training, product training, personal development, team development, tons of resources within the Coach Online office. You just have to utilize them. FAQ is gonna become your best friend. If you have a question, go to FAQ. If say you know, you know, and you're like, oh, somebody reached out to me and they wanna to switch to me as a coach. Customer change coach, type it into the FAQ. What's going to happen is it's going to pop up and it's going to, the first thing, change my coach. And it's going to send you a, a link to a form. Um, yeah, you're good. You're good. I think you're good. Nope, you're good. Sorry, my husband turned off the light. And it's going to take you to a form. So utilize the FAQ. Literally, you can probably find about every single answer that you're looking for under the FAQ. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to take you to the team page and then we're going to go back to the slides. Please, 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 please. Go to the team page, click on notifications, and make sure all posts are clicked. Facebook likes to change things up, and they like to switch things up, and they like to decide how what we're going to do with our lives. So click on all posts and make sure that notification is turned up. 
when you go into the team page, units is always going to be the first thing that pops up, guys. If you have not completed the new coach university, please complete the new coach university. If you tell me that you have completed the new coach university, and for example, I go to day 12. I go to day 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did I go to day 12? I can tell who has completed it because there's homework assignments. So make sure you complete the new coach university. There's some other things underneath the units as well, guys. Um, the new coach, the new coach university, the getting started, and there's also some product training underneath here as well. If you go to the file section of the team page, there's some files in here. Um, things that coaches have added throughout the year. There's like a coach planner if you're a pen and paper type of person. Lots of different things that are added. And then if you also go to albums, actually go to photos, and probably a lot of you don't know this is here, and then you click on albums, there's actually quite a bit of training under the albums. Like if you need a transformation you wanna share, um, if you're looking for different scripts, if you're looking for an Instagram tips, um, there are 28 different, 15 different albums, I apologize, in here. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in the, um, co in, in the team page. And then obviously the discussion, anything that you need to know will be under announcements. Like if it's super important, um, right now under announcements is the team calendar. If you want to know what's happening for the month, when we have team calls, all of that is under the team. I'm sorry, the team calendar. All right, back to the slides because we're all over the place okay. and play and play. Are you back to slides? Can you guys see the slides okay? All right, let's talk about the four vital behaviors, guys. So the four vital behaviors are essentially these, um, the foundation of your business. So when people tell me, well, I'm stuck in my business, and I'm like, okay, well, how are your four vital behaviors going? My what? Okay, that's why you're stuck in the business. Know your four vital behaviors. Um, I have kind of molded mine throughout the years and what I mean by this is, again, this is in your new coach welcome packet. And I'll tell you what I mean by that when I get to it. So the first one is be proof of the product. Do your workout, drink your shake. Be proof of the product. If you have been on a coach on this team for longer than four months and you have yet to complete a program and you're wondering why your business has not built to the level that you think it should be at by now, chances are that's why. I'm not saying you have to have this huge before and after because I don't believe that's true to have a successful business. Well, you turn off that light, hon. Um, but you need to complete a program and you need to share that program daily. So like right now I'm in between programs because I'm waiting for Transform 20 to start, but I've been sharing my, day, my, um, my workouts daily. Drink your shake, do your workout, be proof of the products. Number two, this is what I mean by I've adapted. This one's invite. But I think it's so much more than just inviting. It's sharing, it's connecting, it's inviting, and it's following up. So you're sharing your journey, you're sharing your love for the products, you're connecting with other people, you're inviting them to join you, and then you're following up with them after you've either not heard back from them or you're waiting for them to get started. So you're sharing your journey on social media, you're starting conversations with people, you're inviting them to join you, and then you're following up with them, okay? Sorry, I get really thirsty when I talk a lot. The third one, personal development. I'm not gonna be hypocritical, I'm getting better. No, I'm not, I'm really bad with personal development, okay? I'll admit, it. I'm really, really bad with it. Um, yeah, and I've been bad with it for six years, and I can tell when I need it. Um, so my goal this year was to read a minimum of six personal development books. I'm working on it, okay? Um, but personal development, 10 minutes a day. You can do a podcast, you can do Audible, you can read, do whatever it may be. Personal development is not training. Don't try to come on here and be like, I did personal development today. I was on your training call for an hour. That's not personal development. Like as awesome as I am, I am not deepening your life right now with the training. So personal development, 10 minutes a day. This is what I mean by the fourth one as I've adapted. So the fourth one's actually recognition, um, but it's hard. Girl, wash your face is good. I just, um, I read it before. I'm actually going to see her with another coach. We're going to her conference in June. So I'm rereading it and I bought the hard copy so I can get it signed by her. She has a new book coming out in March as well. Love Rachel Hollis. Love her, love her, love her. Um, and that's the thing with personal development. And then I'll go back to number four. 
I can't do certain books. Everybody preaches about John Maxwell. He's too dry for me. Like I have to have books that I enjoy. So you are a badass and you are a badass at making money are really good. Two good ones. I'm trying to think of ones on my shelf that I've read that I also like. Um, there's one, um, the 10 X rule. I really like that one too. Um, that's a good one. And again, in your new coach welcome packet, there's actually personal development recommendations. I don't remember what page it is. Um, personal development page 22. There are a lot of pages on this thing. Um, so there's, um, some book suggestions and there's some podcast suggestions as well. The energy bus is another really good one guys. Um, and I've heard really good things about get over your damn self. And then I'm, there's no way for me to not curse, but go and fuck yourself. That's also a really good one too. I know. I, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Number four, <laughs> get people results. So this final behavior is supposed to be recognition. It's kind of hard to recognize somebody every single day. So I want you to get people results. I want to get yourself. I want you to get yourself results. I want you to get your coaches results. And I want to get you to get your customer results. And for like, well, Ashley, I can't make people get results. You're right. You can't hold their hands and make them get results. But what you can do is plug them into virtual gyms, plug them into accountability groups, follow up with them, check in with them. When they fall off the face of the earth, still love on them because they joined you for a reason. Okay. So those are your four vital behaviors. And if you guys have any questions throughout this call, you can either save them until the end or put them in the chat box and I'll make sure to check them. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I have the Alabama Clemson game on over on the side. So if you see me looking over, it's because I'm checking the score. Okay. I won't tell you who I'm not rooting for because I don't want to offend anybody. If you guys are Alabama fans, I'm just saying. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, I did not pay for this background. Sorry, this is not very legit over here. All right, you ready to talk about your first new goal as a new coach? To help three people get started with a program. That means with Shakeology and BOD. Or you can do the performance line, okay? Um, three people. We're going to talk about Success Club. If you were on a call, the Road to Elite call, you've kind of heard a little bit about Success Club. Success Club is the essential vital pivot point of your business. When people tell me, well, it's hard to hit success club. I want to say, no, it's not because I've hit it for 59 months in a row. That means I've helped a minimum of three people, 59 months in a row in my business. I've hit success club 14 months in a row in my husband's business. And I've hit it various times throughout that before, but 14 consecutive months within his. Um, start with your friends and family as you continue to build your cold market. You can find three people to help every single month. And if you're like, no, that's really hard. How did you find me? How did you find your upline? All of my personally sponsored coaches found me through social media. I do not know anybody in real life. I know like four in real life. Like before I was even coaching, actually, I only know one, one person, two, two people that are on our team. I knew prior to coaching. Everybody else, all of my personally sponsored coaches, and I probably have about a hundred roughly personally sponsored coaches through social media. Okay. You can find three people to help a month, but that begins with getting out of your comfort zone, starting to share your journey and putting yourself out there. It's scary as F. It really, really is. I get it. It's scary. But I always tell myself, whose life could this change? Whose life could this help? And as long as you're enjoying it and you're loving what you're doing, continue to share. We share about the restaurants we love. God, bird boxes all over social media because everybody loves it. They did no advertising for themselves. Be the same way. If you love what you're doing, share about it in a non-salesy way, but share about it. If you achieve Success Club within the first three months that you're a coach, so for example, I'm going to pick on Crystal because she's on my screen. Crystal signed up in December. She has to hit Success Club January, February, and March, and she earns a free ticket to Beachbody Summit, which is in Indianapolis this year. Um, you earn a free ticket. If you hit Success Club 12 months in a row, you earn a free trip. What do I mean by that? I am going on my fourth free trip in March. We're going on a cruise. Emily, another coach on our team, she earned it as well. Beachbody is, covered my entire cruise because I earned enough Success Club points, and I have $1,000 in spending cash to spend on the cruise to do what I want for five days. This past um, spring, my husband and I went to Mexico, all-inclusive, paid trip by Beachbody. We do have to pay for airfare, but that was uh, the trip itself, all-inclusive by Beachbody. The year before is in Punta Cana. We earned it for free, but I was pregnant with my adorable and well-worth-a-daughter that I missed an all-inclusive to Punta Cana. 
The year before that, I earned a free cruise. And the year before that, we went to Mexico for free, for free as well. So I guess I've earned five free trips. Um, so if you earn Success Club 12 months in a row and you continue to earn it, you'll be invited to go on these trips as well. Success Club is important. I will never quit preaching about it because it is so important to your business. If you're like, Ashley, helping three people is going to be difficult. Start with one. When you've helped that one, find another person. And when you've helped that person, find another person. And I don't care if you've helped three people, you keep helping people for the rest of the month. You don't just stop because you help three and you've hit your goal. You keep on helping people, okay? All right, so how are you gonna hit Success Club? Well, step one, you're gonna commit to a start date. Most of you are probably starting Transform 20 on next Monday. I'm gonna guarantee you pretty much 90% of the people on this call are starting Transform 20 on Monday. Um, announce it, share it, invite people to follow you on this journey or invite them to join you on this journey. If you're like, well, Ashley, I don't know anything about what we're doing. Well, that's great. They can join our group and they can learn as we're learning. I don't know anything about, well, I know about the program, but I don't, I haven't done the program yet. We're doing it all together. Um, so I changed up the rules a little bit with this year with the way I do my virtual gym. I used to let coaches add people into my virtual gym, but all that did was enable coaches to not run their own groups. So if you have somebody that wants to join you, unless it's Transform 20, then you can plug them into our team-wide Transform 20 group. You can either host your own virtual gym or you can team up with another coach and you can run one together. If you're like, I'm really nervous about hosting my own virtual gym accountability group, add me into it and I will coach you through the first month. You will still be the one running it or reach out to your upline if I'm not your upline. You will still be the one running it but I will just be there to help mentor you and help you work through it, okay? And I put this picture up because this is just like, this shows that we get results with the programs. Like this is just a picture of like, you're committing to the program, you're sharing about it. Um, announce it on social media and announce it with a picture of you. I love y'all, but if I see you put up a stock photo, I'll message you and tell you to take it down. No stock photos, don't be other companies. People wanna see you, okay? Where's my... Why aren't we working? All right, guys, let's talk about inviting. So Crystal, no, it wasn't Crystal. Somebody reached out to me today on Instagram, one of the coaches, and they're like, inviting scary. It is. It's super scary. Nobody likes to invite. Nobody likes to be rejected because essentially that's why we don't like to invite because we don't want to be rejected. I was the girl that said no for an entire year. There's another coach on our team, Lisa Douglas. She didn't sign up with me until last year. She has been with me this entire time. She's been friends with me on Facebook since 2012. She didn't sign up until last year. Madison is somebody that I talked to for months, and it took her a while. So inviting is scary, but it's essential to our business, okay? I need to minimize. I don't like not being able to see somebody, but I need to see the slides. So what you need to become is a conversation expert. I'll hear from coaches, well, I'm not very good at starting conversations. You'll get good. There's no training on how to be a good conversationist. Is that a word, conversationist? We're going to make it a word, okay? There's no training on it. You just have to start talking to people, and you'll become good at it. Your goal is to connect with three people a day or at least 20 a week. So I put up a poll, a post in the team page earlier today, and I said, how many people did you invite last week? And people were shocked when I said I invited over 150 people. But I've got big goals this year. And those big goals are not going to happen unless I level up and I 10x my role. 10x role is where it comes from. Uh, if I 10x my goal. You're not reaching out to close them. You're reaching out to open up a door. So what do I mean? You're not trying to like close a deal. You're not trying to be a salesperson at somebody's front door. You're reaching out to open a door, to open an, an, uh, um, a relationship with them. Be brief. Be excited and end every message, message with a call to action. So what I mean by end every message with a call to action is that you don't want to end a conversation with no questions because then what, the, what are they going to write back to you? So I always end when I invite somebody, I'm like, does this sound like something you'd be interested in? Or if it's not, do you know somebody that would be? So I've ended it with a call to action in hopes that they will respond back to me. Find their need and help fix it and ask lots and lots and lots of questions. The more questions you ask, the better. You're gonna get to know your clients. Your, I hate that word, clients. You're gonna get to know your challengers and whatnot when you're asking questions. Find out their needs. A lot of times when I sell a new challenge pack, I love the performance line. I love Shakeology too. I love both. 
but somebody may not benefit from Shakeology. They may benefit more from the performance line. Someone may not benefit from the performance line at all, but they may benefit from Shakeology. So a lot of times when I'm setting up a new challenge pack, I ask you, what do you struggle with more, eating or having energy? If they say, well, I really don't have a lot of energy, then I'm going to recommend the performance line. So that way they have energized to help give them a little extra boost for their workouts. So like, you know what? I really struggle with my lunches. Perfect. You're going to go the Shakeology route. You're going to ask lots of questions and you'll get better at it. And it helps with understanding and being able to set up those programs and finding the right path for people. Recognize and welcome object objections as part of the process. You're going to hear a lot of times, well, that sounds great, but I can't afford it right now. Don't be the person who's like, okay, well, sounds good. Let me know if you change your mind. All you're doing is furthering that objection and giving them approval. You're giving them approval for that objection. A lot of times an objection is a fear. It's not really because they can't. So you'll be like, well, that sounds great, but I can't really afford it. I always am like, you know what? I hear you. I thought the same thing, but then I found out like I was spending useless money on Starbucks. I was eating fast food a lot. And essentially I could afford it. I just had to relocate where I was spending my money at. Or somebody's like, you know, I really, really want to do this, but I just don't know how to squeeze it in. I'll be like, if you, this is something you really want to do, I want you to track your spending for the next two weeks and maybe see if there's areas that you could afford it. Most of the time they'll come back and like, you know what? You're right. Like I spend X, Y, and Z on this, or I go to target and I don't need to buy the hundred dollars worth of stuff in my basket. Welcome and recognize objections and follow up with everybody. My rule is I follow up three times, even if the first two times they did not respond to my message, I will follow up three times. After that, they put they go in my archives. Um, I have a website that I track all of my stuff on and they get archived. Follow up with everybody. Don't be afraid of the cost. I often hear, well, it's so expensive. No, it's not. If we're talking about the essential challenge pack with Shakeology and BOD for 160, it is not expensive. It is an entire year with over 3,000 individual workouts. That doesn't include the nutrition, the recipes, the meal plans, all of that. You get that for $160 and 30 days worth of meals and access to you as your coach. That is an amazing value. You cannot go to a personal trainer for that price. Don't send them your link right away. I never send somebody like, they're like, well, do you have a website you can look at? I'm like, oh, what questions can I answer for you? I set everything up through ShareCart. I never sent anything through a link. And don't show up and throw up. So what do I mean by that? Don't word vomit all over the place. Trust me, I know how excited it is when somebody's interested or they're like, yeah, I'm in and they're asking info. Slowly give them information because you don't want to word vomit and give them too much information. All right, next slide. All right, guys, let's talk about your second goal as a coach. This is under your units. It's also on page 13 of your new coach welcome guide, okay? Um, but your second goal as a coach is to become an Emerald coach in your first two weeks as a coach, especially if you want to build your business. This is a slide that shows you the different ranks of coaching. So there's an active coach, that means you're getting 50 PV a month. If you are on auto ship for the performance line, Shakeology, um, Daily Sunshine, anything that's worth 50 PV, you're considered an active coach, you have to get it every 35 days. Your next rank, you're not even ranked as a coach. So your first rank is Emerald. That means two coaches underneath you, one on each leg. Guys, please do me a favor. When you sign up, your first 10 coaches reach out to your upline before you sign them up, okay? Please reach out to your upline before you sign them up. Um, that way we can help tell you what leg to put them on. Yes, you can change it afterwards, but if you're trying to rank advance like before Thursday, it gets messy. So your goal, focus on Emerald, two coaches underneath you, one on the right and one on the left, okay? And you all have to be active coaches. Once you have two active coaches, one on each leg, you rank advance to Emerald. I'm not going to tell you the benefits of Emerald because I did a whole call on it and it's under the unit section and we also have a call on it next Monday as well. I see the chat. I promise I'll answer questions at the end because I will get, I will lose focus. Um, do not focus on Ruby or Diamond. Focus on Emerald. Once you achieve Emerald, then we will talk. Okay. So this is your second goal. Achieve Emerald in your first two weeks as a coach. If you have been a coach longer than two weeks and you're like, oh, it's okay. 
as long as you're trying and you're putting in the work and the effort. If you haven't been putting in the work and the effort and you haven't been inviting and you haven't been sharing your journey, then it's time to start doing that so you can achieve Emerald, okay? Share your journey on social media. So I have some Insta uh, feeds up of a couple of coaches on our team. I've got my feed, I've got Ashley Bearwalt, and I've got Cassie, Casey Oaks. All coaches on our team. We all have very different feeds. Um, Casey is a mom of two. Um, she's got a rambunctious little girl, likes all over the place. She has had amazing results um, throughout her Beachbody journey. Ashley, she's in the middle. She is a soon-to-be mom. She is a dog mom. She is working her butt off while she's pregnant, and I'm super proud of her. She also had amazing results with the products. Um, if you go to her page, you can check them out on Instagram. And then there's mine. Mama of one, um, a little all over the place. I'm clearly obsessed with my mom crack and taking selfies because that's what you see. But remember, you were who you were before you became a coach. A lot of times, People become coaches and they think all they can do or should do is post about Beachbody and that's not true. Remember who you were before a coach. So it doesn't show too much in the um, example of the ones that I posted on mine because it's in a weird time of season. I am an avid runner. I call myself a fair weather runner because I hate running in this crappy weather. So in the spring, in the fall, and in the summer, so all months besides winter, you'll see posts of me running. Um, you'll see posts of my kiddo, my little koala butt in one of those pictures. I share pictures of my glitter cups. That's a part of my brain. That's a part of who I am. Um, what you don't see is salesy stock photos. All of the photos that you see on these people's social media feeds are their photos. If you are a foodie type of person, share your food. If you love coffee, share about your coffee. If you're a cat mom, an iguana mom, what other type of animals are out there, share them. Still share about your fitness journey, but you still need to intertwine the other parts about you because that's what people are going to connect with you. Most of the people that sign up underneath me either have PCOS, endometriosis, they are a first-time mom, they are a planner, or they are a dog mom. We probably have one of those five things in common because I talk about that quite a bit. So what you'll find is that you will start drawing people into your brand, into your personality, and the things about you, okay? And always ask yourself, before you post, what do you want to get from your post? Is it providing value to their lives? No, no, not every single post is going to provide value. I've got one that's like a funny saying up there. Um, but try to provide value. Try to give something to other people, Okay. Power of consistency and patience. So I hear all the time, well, how did you, I get messages probably every single day on my Instagram. How did you grow your Instagram to where it's at? Consistency. How did you grow to your business to where it's at? Consistency. How did you grow your following to where it's at? Consistency. Consistency and patience. This business will not happen overnight. Do some coaches blow up in the first two years? Absolutely. Do most? No. Been a coach for six years, six years, and I'm still growing and I'm still not where I want to be, but I will through consistency and patience. So I'm showing you guys a picture. The one on the left is one of the first photos I ever posted. It was January 18th, 2013. It had eight likes and 10 comments. It is the most salesy and spammy post ever. And all of these are still available on my Insta. If you want to see what my Insta feed looked like back in that day, there you go. That is it. Fast forward five years later, that should say, oh yeah, that was in December. 500 likes, 28 comments. It's personalized. It's eye-catching and I'm sharing my journey. I started with no followers anywhere. On Instagram, I had no followers. I now have 31,000 followers. I had no business page. Now I have over 39,000 followers on my business page. I probably had less than 400 friends. I now have 3,000 friends on my Facebook. Do you see where I'm getting at? It's gonna take consistency and it's going to take patience. If you throw in the towel, if you fall off the face of the earth for a month, if you get defeated and you decide to quit working your business, but then you come back, you kind of have to start all over. So please be consistent and please be patient. It does take time, but it will grow. Is that my last slide? 
It is my last slide. So this is where I get to give you guys a little motivational talk, and then this is where I'm gonna answer any questions, okay? This business is not hard, okay? This business is not hard. I'm gonna say it one more time, and don't punch me in the face by saying this, okay? This business is not hard, this business is not complicated. If you're feeling overwhelmed, chances are one, you're trying to do one of too many things at once, or two, you're making it hard and you're making it complicated and you're making it overwhelming. Focus on those four vital behaviors. Proof of the product, invite, share, connect, follow up, personal development, get people products. See, I had to pause and think of it. Did you think I was pausing for dramatic effect? Because I wasn't, I was pausing because I was trying to think of it. I know, I'm, I should have been a comedian in the past life, just kidding, just kidding, okay. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of call to actions and then I'm gonna open it up to questions and I am gonna shout out, and if you're listening to this recording, I'm gonna shout out, there's three of you on right now and I'm proud of the three of you for taking time out of your night to be on this call to learn about the business. I know not everybody can, so that's okay. Print this out, okay? Print out the new Coach Welcome Packet. If you don't have a printer, go to, is Kinko still a thing? Is Kinko's a place? I don't know if they are. Go to Kinko's, go to Staples, go to Office Max. You can either hole punch it and put it in a binder. You can be like me and just clip it together. Um, or you can have a spiral bound at like a Staples or somewhere. But please print this out. Like mine's already looking rough. And I already know all this stuff, but I want to make sure I can reference it for new coaches. Learn this inside and out. That way when you sign up a new person, you can be like, here, print this out. Printers, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see. I've got three of them right here. We have a graveyard of printers. It's because of our other business. Like we have, we, we went to a recycling thing one time and the guy looked at me because we recycled like 10 printers. I was like, the line of business, sorry. Um, so print this out. Finish the new coach university. Who's that lovely person sitting on a rock? Fun fact, this was from our team retreat. Next team retreat's in May. If you want to qualify, rank advanced to Emerald. It's at Disney World, um, where dreams come true. I don't know if that's where Disney came from. I don't know. Go with it. So print that out. Do the new, co new coach university. I'm going to give you guys a little motivational pep talk, and then I'll open up to any questions, and I'll let you guys go. Ooh, what elevator is getting ready? Yes. Um, okay. You will have moments that you want to quit. You will have moments where you feel defeated. You will have coaches quit. You will have customers do returns. You'll have people say, yes, I wanna sign up. And then they block you the next day. Just happened to me the other day. Don't know why, but that's cool. They weren't ready, that's okay. You will have people hate on you. You will have people call you every name in the book. That just means you've made it. There was a day where I had, this was when I only had like seven coaches. Three coaches quit on me in one day. One was a family member. Three in one day. And I remember that day I was working out. I felt so defeated. I was like, there's no way I can succeed in this business. If even a family member won't stick with me, like how can I succeed in this business? I stayed. I put in the work. I put in the time. And I've been successful because I was consistent. Because I never threw in the towel. Because I kept on going. If you have a moment where you want to quit, reach out to me, reach out to your upline, post in the team page, lean on the team. That is what we are here for. We are here to help you succeed, but you've got to put in the work and you've got to put in the time. If you want to be successful in this business, you can, but it starts with you and getting results and being proof of the product and being consistent as F. Okay. Hannah, I know you just jumped on. Just make sure to watch the replay. Um, we're just finishing up, but that's okay. Does anybody have any questions? No questions. Okay. If you think of a question, post it in the team page and tag me. And I always will say post a question in the team page because that allows other coaches the chance to learn from your question as well but I'll still answer you. Once you get through the new coach university, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with your upline. If I am your upline, please use the scheduling link that I have. Um, that is how I keep my life together with a scheduling link. Okay. 
Anna, I think we had a call tonight. Now that I think about it, I think we had a call scheduled tonight. That's okay. We'll reschedule. <laughs> we'll reschedule. Um, schedule a call with me. Make sure your new coach university is done and have a setup date. Yeah, Crystal, I got you down 7.30. You, my friend, are in my planner. Oh, yeah. Um, you can do this. I am excited to see every single one of you grow. I am excited to see you do massive things with your business. I am excited to see you consistent and get amazing results with Transform 20. And I am excited to watch you guys grow. So with that being said, if you have any questions that you think of after this call, post them in the team page and I will answer them and tag me. Get out there. Have a great night and go do your invites if you guys have not invited and welcome to the family. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night, guys.